Studies on a drug thought to be the answer to treating COVID-19 have stopped. Health officials are now saying that hydroxychloroquine shows no benefits. News 4's Alexandria Adams spoke to experts about where we go from here. And Alexandria, I know a lot of people were hopeful about this drug. Yeah, they really were, Tracy, including health experts. Hydroxychloroquine has been in the news really since the very beginning of this pandemic. Now health experts are saying that it's not showing the results that they were hoping it would be. The chloroquine, uh, I think the... Uh I think it could be something really incredible. The drug once touted and taken by the president is now no longer considered useful when it comes to treating COVID-19. We studied about 500 patients across the country and we were able to finish the study last week uh, when we had enough data to show that it is not it is not working to help patients in the hospital recover from COVID. The ORCID study, outcomes related to COVID-19, treated with hydroxychloroquine among inpatients with symptomatic disease, was conducted over 11 weeks. The hope was the drug would combat the illness with those with symptoms of COVID-19. We knew that it worked against uh, some other pathogens or germs like malaria, and using the same type of mechanism, so the way that the the drug gets into the body, it may have prevented uh, the virus from entering cells and causing damage. Hydroxychloroquine did not harm people, um, but it didn't look like it was helping either. Researchers are continuing to look for the next solution. There's a lot of scientists and doctors studying vaccines and other medicines across the world. Now, one of those possible solutions may be dexamethasone. It is an inflammation steroid. Researchers over in the UK found that it helped curb the death rate of their severely ill COVID patients by a third. Tracy.